Now I'll start my talk about quantum set theories satisfying both the transfer principle and Do Morgan's laws. It's based on this uh, preprint. To understand quantum physics and logic, we build mathematics on quantum logic. According to Bulbaki, we need only to build a set theory instead of building various branches of mathematics. For this purpose, Geist Takeuchi introduced quantum set theory in his seminal paper published in 1981. Takeuchi showed that real numbers in his quantum set theory correspond to observables of the quantum system. We have shown that Takeuchi's quantum set theory extends the Bohlen formula to the relations between observables such as uh, probability of the equality relation and also the probability of the inequality for observables. We have shown that Takeuchi's quantum set theory satisfies the transfer principle for theorems of ZFC set theory which generalizes the transfer principle of the Boolean bird models of the set theory. Uh, in that case, there are every GFC set theory, uh, theorems of the GFC set theory have the truth value one. We generalize this to a uh, quantum logic. However, Takeuchi's quantum set theory does not satisfy the Morgan's laws for bounded quantifiers. In this talk, we solve the problem of reforming Takeuchi's quantum set theory to satisfy both the transfer principle and De Morgan's laws. We also solve the problem of how many quantum set theories satisfy both the transfer principle and De Morgan's laws. That is, we explore the uh, other options for choosing the uh, logical operations for uh, implication and uh, corresponding uh, parts. Uh, Takeuchi's quantum set theory. Quantum logic Q is the projection lattice on the Hilbert space. Takeuchi's quantum set theory consists of two parts, the universe of quantum sets VQ and Q-valued interpretation of all the formulas in set theory assigning the value in the quantum logic. <coughs> the universe VQ is uh, characterized as follows. Every element of U, element U in VQ is a function from the subset of VQ to the quantum logic Q. So it's like the um, fuzzy set for values in quantum logic. And then uh, Q value interpretation, uh, Q value truth value formula, uh, phi x1 to xn with three variables, x1 to xn uh, for uh, elements of the VQ, Q, U1 to UN. Uh, so you, you determine there are truth value if those uh, three variables are applied to those elements of quantum universe. We restrict formulas to be bounded. That is, all the quantifiers are of the form for every x in U or there exists x in U. The universe VQ is defined by the following transfinite recursion. V0 is empty set and after the alpha steps, V alpha plus one Q is a set of the function from the subset of V alpha Q to quantum logic Q. And if alpha is a limit ordinal, uh, V alpha Q is defined as a, a union of the all V beta Q constructed before alpha. Then, uh, VQ is defined as a union of all the uh, V alpha Q, alpha varies over the, all the ordinal numbers. 
The quantum logic Q is an orthomodular lattice, and it is well known that uh, there are uh, arbitrariness to choosing uh, the implication operations in orthomodular lattice. The classical implication uh, Q implies, uh, P implies Q equal to non P or Q does not satisfy the following property. Uh, P implies Q is equal to 1 if and only if P is less than or equal to Q. So we need uh, to uh, use the different uh, <coughs> candidate for implication uh, for this uh, theory. So Takeuchi's quantum set theory uses the Sasaki arrow um, defined to be that uh, P implies Q equal non P or P and Q. <coughs> then um, Q value the truth value uh, of the formula phi is defined by the following rule. Uh, those rules, first rule defined the <coughs> Q value of the equality relation. And this is uh, inspired by the uh, extensionality axioms. Uh, and then uh, <coughs> the second uh, rule defines the uh, membership relation. And the equality and membership relations are alternatively defined from the lower rank of the uh, construction. And then a uh, negation is defined to be the orthogonal complement and, and or uh, defined using the lattice operation of quantum logic. And implication is defined as a Sasaki law and also a universal quantifier uses Sasaki law and the existential quantifier uses just uh, and operation here. And we need uh, the notion of a commutator uh, to state the transfer principle. For any subset A, the commutant of A is defined by uh, the following set. Uh, the set of element of, of quantum logic Q, P, uh, commute with uh, every element of A. We call this commutant of A. Then the commutator of A is defined by, uh, this uh, denotes the center of uh, the sub logic generated by A. So uh, this means the uh, commutator of A is the uh, largest element of the center of A such that um, P and E and Q and E are commuting for every P and Q in A. Then the support LU of U is defined by recursion on the rank of u uh, by the following formula. ux is an uh, element of quantum logic. So lu is uh, roughly speaking the sets of the, all the elements of the quantum logic which is used to construct uh, u from the lower rank of the uh, universe. Then the commutator of U1 to Un is defined by the uh, commutator of the uh, set uh, union of the LU1 to LUN. So uh, the commutator of the uh, set which uh, elements which are used to construct all of U1 to Un. Then commutator of U1 to Un is the largest element E of U, such that all U1 to Un are commuting if those elements are restricted to Q and E. Then we can state the transfer principle. Um, transfer principle today, 
um, if formula uh, phi x1 to xn with free variable x1 to xn is provable in GFC set theory, then uh, we have the following relation for every element u1 to un in quantum universe. This means that this statement is uh, uh, <coughs> substitute u1 to un in uh, x1 to xn. Then this is a statement about vq. The truth value of this statement is uh, larger than or equal to the commutator u1 to un. Then uh, we have the following theorem. Takeuchi's quantum set theory satisfies the transfer principle. And this transfer principle is a generalization of the transfer principle of the Boolean void model of set theory. If this uh, <coughs> commutator is one, then there exists a Boolean subalgebra B of Q, such that uh, all U1 to UN uh, element of this uh, Boolean valid model VQ constructed by subalgebra B. Uh, then, uh, according to the theory of the Boolean valid models, uh, every theorem uh, has truth value one for this Boolean valid model. So, uh, in this case, the uh, this uh, truth value, Q valid truth value is also equal to one for this case. And in general case, we can generalize the, this uh, statement for uh, Boolean by the models in this form using the commutator of the uh, constant in, in this formula. Now we talk about the Morgan's laws. Takeuchi's quantum set theory does not satisfy the following Do Morgan's laws. Uh, this is that <coughs> negation of the universal quantification of the phi x is equivalent to the existential uh, quantification of the negation of the phi x. Also, the negation of the existential quantification of phi x is equivalent to the universal quantification of the negation of the phi x. In classical predicate calculus, uh, always we have this the Morgan's laws. Uh, however, the Takeuchi's quantum set theory this does not hold generally. Uh, the relation uh, existential quantification of the negation phi x has the truth value less than or equal. Uh, to the truth value of the negation of the universal quantification of the phi x. Uh, this holds for every formula. <coughs> and then um, we can have the cases equality does not hold. There exists a formula phi x such that uh, existential uh, quantification of the negation phi x has truth value zero. However, um, negation of the universal quantification has um, truth value positive. So they are different. In the intuitionistic logic, it's uh, uh, common to happen in this uh, case, but uh, in classical logic, we don't have uh, such a counter examples. And the quantum logic uh, also uh, intended to uh, generalize the, the Morgan's laws in classical logic. So we expect quantum set theory also satisfies all the type of the Morgan's laws. So uh, in order to uh, maintain the Morgan's laws, we need to uh, reformulate, uh, re redefine the interpretation. To do so, we introduce the following uh, operation, P star Q equal P and non P or Q. So uh, we replace uh, and operation uh, by this operation. If we redefine the interpretations of the existential quantifier and the membership relation as uh, follows. Uh, so instead of the uh, conjunction here, uh, we use new um, operation, star three. Then the reformed Takeuchi's quantum set theory satisfies both the transfer principle and the Morgan's laws. So uh, 
changing the interpretation by replacing uh, and operation by this start re operation in this uh, formula uh, improves the quantum set theory, uh, make them to satisfy both the transfer principle and Tom Morgan's laws. Now we consider the uh, other options to choosing the operations to satisfy both the uh, transfer principle and the Morgan's laws. So uh, for any operations, uh, arrow and star, we define the uh, arrow star interpretation of uh, quantum universe BQ as follows. This is all the same formula, um, but uh, we replace the uh, operations uh, Sasaki arrow by arbitrary uh, operations uh, arrow here and here and here and here. And also we replace the uh, and operation in the uh, definition of the membership relation and also uh, definition of the uh, existential uh, quantifiers, we replace and operation by arbitrary star operation. Then um, what uh, options we can make uh, to obtain the uh, quantum set theory uh, which satisfies transfer principle and the Morgan's laws. So uh, how many quantum set theories satisfy both transfer principle and the Morgan's laws? And uh, we restrict our attention to the uh, polynomially definable operations. Uh, otherwise, the possibility is infinitely many. So we consider uh, for any polynomially definable operations, a row and a star, the row star interpretation satisfies both the transfer principle and the Dom Morgan's laws if and only if a row is one of the following six operations, a row j, and the star is given by p star j q is equal to uh, negation of uh, p a row j uh, negation q. And then uh, our a possible choice is the following six uh, operations. <coughs> P a row zero q is uh, this one, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and five, five uh, can be written in this form. We will um, make those relations more clear uh, later. So in order to do that, we consider the commutator of two uh, elements, um, PQ. Now the commutator of two elements, PQ, is defined by uh, P and Q or non-P and Q or P and non-Q or non-P and non-Q. Then uh, the row zero is uh, just written in this form. So uh, <coughs> this is just inside the uh, commutator, then uh, row one is just row zero or uh, p and uh, negation of the commutator. And row two is row zero or q and negation of the commutator. Row three, this is Sasaki row, uh, is uh, also row zero or non p and uh, negation of the commutator. And, uh, a row four is just a row zero or a negation of Q and negation of the commutator. And uh, a row five, this is classical uh, implication, is equal a row zero or uh, hold the uh, negation of the <coughs> commutators. So we have uh, just these six choices to maintain the transfer principle and the Tom Morgan's laws. And then uh, corresponding uh, star operation is given as follows. Uh, we call dual conjunctions 
the dual conjunctions P star JQ are given as follows, right? In this way, and star zero is P and Q or whole um, of the negation of the commutator. This corresponds to the classical uh, implication, non P or Q. And then a, a dual conjunction or, or first implication, implication two, implication three, implication four, five is given as follows. I'm sorry, uh, <coughs> implication five is classical uh, implication. Right. The, all the uh, operations arrow J and uh, star J are characterized by the following properties. Uh, if P and Q are commuting, then um, P arrow J Q is uh, all, all of these uh, operations satisfy uh, P arrow J Q is equal to non P or Q. So uh, those operations are if we restrict it to uh, commuting elements, this is just the uh, classical uh, implication. And in, conversely, um, all the polynomially definable operations uh, which satisfy this property is uh, just uh, six uh, operation. And also, uh, star uh, j operation satisfies the following properties uh, for the commuting um, elements so star j operation is equal to uh, and operation and all the uh, polynomially definable operations satisfy this condition is just six uh, star operations uh, all of these uh, things are, are found by a uh, cotas in 1967 and uh, we apply this uh, Cotas work to uh, consider the transfer principle and the Morgan's laws. And we found that uh, transfer principle uh, satisfied for all these Cotas uh, implications and the Cotas uh, star operation. And uh, in order to uh, maintain transfer principle and uh, Morgan's laws both, we need to uh, just combine those two dual pairs, uh, arrow j and the star j. So only th these six pairs, uh, we have the quantum set theory, which satisfies transfer principle and uh, the Morgan's laws. Now we visualize those operations. We call the quantum Venn diagram. Uh, so. Uh, as the classical Venn diagram, the largest square uh, describes the totality or truth. Uh, then uh, inside this uh, uh, red part is commutator of uh, P and Q. And so the white part is the uh, orthogonal complement of the commutator. The commutator is just uh, divided into four parts, P and Q, P and non-Q, non-P and Q and non P and non Q. Uh, so in the classical Venn diagram, just this part, but the quantum Venn diagram extend classical Venn diagram to put the uh, negation of the commutator part. <clears throat> so the negation of the commutator is a red zone of this uh, diagram. Then uh, P and Q is just inside the commutator part. So P and Q is uh, uh, here. And this is just the uh, uh, same form of the classical Venn diagram uh, just in this part. However, P or Q uh, is, uh, uh, this is classical uh, P or Q, but uh, uh, quantum P or Q uh, includes the uh, orthogonal complement of the commutator. So, uh, quantum P or Q is uh, this form, and quantum P and Q is this form. The duality between this uh, reflects the uh, uh, 
how uh, negation of the commutator is included or excluded in this way. Now we compare with the uh, uh, AND operation and uh, classical implication. AND operation is here, and then uh, uh, classical implication also uh, dual to AND operation. So this has the totality of the negation of the commutator. Uh, so this is uh, inside the commutator, it's just the same as the classical uh, case, but uh, quantum uh, implication um, includes the uh, negation of the commutator. Now we consider, and this operation is uh, <coughs> Uh, not ideal because this operation does not have the, such a, a property E. Uh, P and Q is E1, not equivalent to its uh, order relation, P is less than or equal to Q. And then uh, we consider the Sasaki arrow and the Sasaki projection. Uh, <coughs> Sasaki arrow has uh, not the whole uh, negation of the commutator, but just the P part, uh, P. <clears throat> P negation part, non P part of the uh, orthogonal complement of the commutator. And uh, dually, uh, Sasaki projection has uh, AND operation plus uh, P part of the negation of the commutator. <laughs> now we consider all the six options for uh, choosing the implications. Uh, so uh, this is a classical uh, implication, uh, P, non P or Q. And this is a number, uh, a row zero. This does not have any part of the negation of the commutator. Then uh, those other uh, options, um, part of the commutator is included. So, uh, a row one implication includes the P part of the negation of the commutator and a row two includes Q part. And a row three, the Sasaki row, includes a non P part of the negation of the commutator. And a row four includes the non P, non Q part of the negation of the commutator. And then a classical implication, whole Include the whole of the negation of the commutator. So <clears throat> we have those six choices for implications, uh, which makes quantum set theory um, satisfy the transfer principle. And if you choose the uh, star operation dual to implication, then uh, uh, quantum set theory uh, satisfies both the transfer principle and uh, uh, Don Morgan's laws and uh, possible options for uh, polynomially definable operations, only exactly those six options. Thank you very much for uh, listening. <laughs>